Hello, we are now with activity 1.6, which deals with cascaded amplifiers. We are connecting amplifiers together. And the activity asks, draw a block diagram of two cascaded amplifiers and the diaphragm expression for the overall voltage gain for these amplifiers characterized with these internal input impedance, output impedances, and these gains. And then there is a, a practical example in the homework. So this also has to do with loading, but not only loading, it has to do when you connect amplifiers together, what happens to the gain? Do we add it together? Do we multiply it together? Let's see. So let's draw a first amplifier with an input impedance Ri1 we have the voltage control voltage source to model the amplification and output impedance RO1 again A1 as a function of the input voltage and this is our input voltage so this is our first amplifier let's do another one I'm going to do it in a different color actually I'm going to name this amplifier one one let's use blue for our second amplifier so we connect this to a second amplifier Input impedance are I2 again we use a voltage control voltage source to model our amplification the gain in this case is A2 the open circuit voltage gain it's going to have an output impedance R out2 Now, over here, I'm going to connect this, uh, name this V input 1. And this is actually, let me name it better V input 2. I don't think I need this be input one. Well, so this is our second amplifier. So we connected now to a load. RL and to a source. Vs with an internal resistance Rs. And the purpose of this activity is to derive an expression for the overall gain of the amplifier. So let's let's go ahead. The overall gain, if we define this as being the output, V output, the gain is so defined as the output over the output voltage over the initial the first voltage which is the source voltage right looking at the stage ideally we will want that we get a first level of amplification and then another second another level of amplification so intuitively right if no loading if no loading you know, the impedances are such that the input impedances of each stage are much larger than the output impedances looking in the previous stage then we will have ASO will be the product of the gains the first one times the second because you amplify it and then you amplify it again let's see what happens when you have the loading and so with loading 
let's look for an expression for the output voltage starting at the end. The output voltage, we have a voltage divider here, we know what the voltage is here, right? So the output voltage is going to be RL over RL plus RO2 times the voltage here is A2, the gain factor of the first one, times this voltage, voltage I2. But what is that equal to? Well, it is the one here. So let's go ahead and plug that in. This is another, there is another loading going on, will be the voltage here with a voltage divider, divider of the input impedance of the second amplifier in relationship to the output impedance of the first amplifier. So that's R I2 R I2 plus R O1 A1 times V input, but the input is here. Another voltage divider <coughs> that in this case the loading is the interaction between the input impedance into the first stage and the output impedance looking back into the source. R I1 divided by R I1 plus R S V S equals so what we have here is that if we are to look at AS2 which is the output voltage over the source voltage we divide this expression by the source voltage which cancels it and what we get is what we expected A1 times A2 the product of the amplifications but then we have the loading due to the input R I1 over R I1 plus R S. This is the input loading. Then there is a loading due to the interface between those amplifiers. This one was this one, right? Here. Now there is the loading based on the interface and that's the RI2 RI2 plus RO1 the relationship between the input impedance into amplifier of amplifier 2 and the output impedance of amplifier 1 and then finally you have the loading at the output RL RL plus RO2 so output loading and then you have the interface inter cascading loading so what will we want we will want that ro2 is much less than rl we will want that r i2 is much bigger much bigger than ro1 and we will want r I1 much larger than RS. And if you meet these conditions, then your gain, overall gain, will be the product, A1 plus A2. Otherwise, this is less than 1, this is less than 1, and this is less than 1. Gain. attenuation of the input, attenuation of the interface between amplifier 1 and amplifier 2, and attenuation of the output. So with that, in the next activity, we are going to look at the power efficiency, because these amplifiers, in order to amplify, you need to actually, you need to have them powered. They need power derived from a DC source. Thank you.